Welcome to Renovate Innovate. Today I'm going to show you how we totally transform a tired 1970s motorcycle tank using some £20 vinyl. Let's roll the video. Right, so this is my project, my 1970s Yamaha Twin. Um, as you can see, the tank is looking really tired, so time for a refresh. Moving the tank here, under the fuel line, I'm just going to take the bolt out there, simply comes off, dead simple. I um, can do a bit of prep work before we go to wrap the tank. As you can see, it's got some vinyl stickers on there that are really looking old and they need removing. So dead simple, peeling those bits off. Um, as you can see, the black bit is where the seat is stuck, so it's not had a really good varnish on there. I'm giving it a rub down to try and clear some of that top coat. But really, this paint thinner is going to be what's going to help. I'm applying that on there, I'm letting it bubble up. Uh, and then just brushing it off. As you can see, it's all nicely bubbled up there, making it easy to remove. I could have gone down to the bottom of the metal, but I'm hoping I can get a nice smooth finish and get the vinyl over the top of that. So I'm putting some body filler on here. There was a tank emblem on there, um, and that was with the Yamaha logo on it. I didn't want that on this tank, so a bit of filler and smooth that bit over and rub it down. I'm using a bit of white spirits here to clean off all the excess bits after I've rubbed it down, try and get a clean coat as best I can. Um, and then it's putting the primer on. So I'm using an etch primer here and building it up in thin layers and just to try and get an even coat of primer over the top of there. Right, so I've got a pretty good basic primer coat um, and then it's going to be handing over to our friend here, Val. Um, he's going to help me apply the vinyl and kind of show me how it's done. I've never done this before. Um, so he's applying some IPA alcohol solution here, which will clean off any of the dust and residue and fingerprints from carrying the, uh, the tank around. And um, this is the vinyl we're using. It's a bottle green metallic. Um, Val's offering it up here, see how much we need. We only spent um, 20 quid a meter on this material. We ordered two meters to be sh sure, but we end up using half of it. So uh, you can get away with 20 quid really. Here I am just um, holding it here. We're cutting out how much we need. Right, so we uh, removed the film off the back and then we've laid the vinyl over the top. It's a bit alarming when it goes over the top, you think it looks really messy. But what I found was it's quite easy to reposition, especially um, in the hands of someone like Val. So he's applying a bit of heat here to make it more malleable. It kind of stretches over the, um, over the metal quite nicely using a squeegee, um, that's that piece of plastic with a sort of soft end on it to smooth out the areas. And it's kind of working from the top downwards because um, the top was the most flat part of the tank so we kind of wanted that bit to be our starting point. He's letting the material fall around the curves of the tank. He's working his way from the front and down the sides of the um, of the tank. There's an overhead shot there, you can see how much extra material we've got. We've got more than we need here. Um, so we're stretching it down, getting some tension on there and trying to loop it under the bottom of the, the tank. Using a heat gun, not applying too much heat, too much heat and it, the, you start to lose the stickiness and the repositionability of the vinyl, which is not what we want. We want it to be sticky, but we want to, be able to move it. So a bit of heat, taking it off, moving it around, bit of heat, taking it off, moving it around. Using a different squeegee here, just a soft piece. And um, here I am just holding the top of it, getting some tension. If it had been on the bike, it might have been a bit easier. Um, it's resting on two axle stands at the moment, so they've moved around a little bit. So I'm kind of just helping hold the tank in position while Val works his magic all around the outside of the tank. Mm -hmm. 
as you can see, you're swapping between two different kinds of squeegees there, the plastic one with the edge on it and the softer one. Now he's got to the bottom, there's a little ridge on the bottom of the tank um, and this bit was a bit tricky really. I think in hindsight if we could have turned the tank upside down we might have been able to get a bit more pressure on the corners and um, that lip at the bottom of the tank might have been a little bit easier. We're working along trimming excess bits as we need, um, not trimming it all off in one go because we need to be able to lift it and reposition it. Again we're applying some more heat here. Um, and working to the bottom of the tank here. The bottom of the tank has like an arch where it sits over the seat and the motorbike frame. So we're just working that way. Got one side pretty good, so now starting to position on the other side. Um, same process again, working our way down, stretching it, applying a bit of heat a lot of tension and just working it quite slowly. So finally we're working on the top of the tank with the filler cap and um, cutting a hole where the fuel goes in and then working around the hinge. Um, it's a little bit feely this bit. was it for the green vinyl and um, just wanted to create a decal for the side just a custom decal and um, as I said I didn't want to go with the Yamaha badge so I plotted some more vinyl uh, on this cutter plotter here so I'm just weeding it out here working along and um, cutting all the bits that I don't want um, to apply on the bike Right, so we're positioning where we want the vinyl using some masking tape to position it, stick it in place and then use these bottom bits of masking tape to have a guide. Leaving one piece of masking tape on the top of the tank um, and then peeling the back end of this vinyl graphic. So Val's lining up there with the masking tape that we put on there for the position. And this is it, removing the application tape that was on the front, revealing the nice new fresh decal graphics. how we transform that old motorcycle tank. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and leave a comment in the box below if you enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one.